Welcome back, everybody. We are here with a different video, or, or at least one that's different than what we've had on the channel before. We actually got our TGA submissions back from the Grading Authority, and we are going to guess what grades we got on our cards. And we're really excited uh, to see what we got for grades. We sent basically our favorite cards, not necessarily the cards that were the most expensive, but just ones from our collection um, that we've had over the years that we wanted to see what they would be like graded, but more importantly, we wanted them to be able to be displayed. And TGA cards, once I saw A Drive was a part of that, and I saw the colored uh, slabs, it was a no doubter for me that I was going to send in my cards. And then when my brother said that, hey, he wanted to send some in too, that was the icing on the cake. And so we decided to submit these roughly uh, a month and a half ago. Their, their policy is three or 30 days and it's 20 to 30 dollars a card we did the 20 dollar or the 20 card bundle to get a little bit less money uh but they they had some stuff come up but no worries i would have waited three months for this uh, and so the one and a half months is nothing so here we go uh, i ripped most of the tracking label off already this is probably going to be pretty loud uh ooh, we've encountered some tape that i was not planning for Sammy is weak sauce. Okay, let's get some scissors in here and cut those up. So deep in, I'm gonna ruin stuff. Package it uh, pretty tight because we want everything in here to come in safe. There it is. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, bammo. Okay, there you can see the TGA Green Authority sticker. Highly recommend checking them out. They are a great service, and guess what? If you send them a good card and it gets graded really highly, you don't have to pay an upcharge. It's a standard fee for everybody, and that is the most amazing part, that I never had to worry. Whatever I paid at the beginning is what was going to be the ultimate price. And they send you this, which is really cool. Um, their favorite card was the Scizor. It's their all-time favorite card. Um, and it, the primary grader was Courtney, so shout out to Courtney, thank you so much. And the head grader was Chad, so shout out to you as well, Chad. I think now we are just going to get all the cards set out and we'll cut back when that is done. We're going to start with our Japanese cards first. So how this is going to work is we're going to take a peek. We are not experts by any means on, on graded cards, but we know a little bit from, from watching people and getting their submissions back. And so we'll take a look. We'll each throw a guess. I got my brother Joe here. He's got some cards. What's up? <laughs> He's got some cards that are uh, that he paid for in this as well. So he's got some money in the game. And we are going to play a guess that grade. And if you get it right, it's a point. And then whoever has, has the highest score at the end uh, gets to pick the highest graded card from the other person to keep. So like, let's say he's a Charizard collector. So most of his cards in here are Charizards. I love Blastoise. Uh, check out our Blastoise hunt. We've, we were having videos on Celebrations Blastoise hunt. But basically I could pick one of his Charizards or he could pick one of mine. That kind of puts some, some money in the game here. So... <clears throat> Good luck. Uh, I think both of these Japanese cards, good luck to you too as well, are, are mine. So we'll just first start here. So you can kind of look on this, the centering here. It's a lot different with Japanese cards uh, because the centering is like a faded away. Uh, there, there's a good view of it. A faded like gold. Okay, so then the grade's going to be on Left side. this side. Yeah. Ooh. That is fire. So we've got the Fractured Glass Foil, Team Magma Groudon EX. I'm looking around on it. I don't know. This looks like a pretty nice card overall. I didn't see any nicks or dings or anything. Okay, Joe, you can go first. What's well, your I don't see any major problems. The centering looks pretty well. Maybe the right side is... Thinner than the left, but barely. So I'm yeah. gonna say an eight and a half. Eight and a half. Ooh, I feel like you're lowballing me a little bit. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go nine. I'm gonna go nine. I think this is probably a nine. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, wow. gem mint. Nine point five. Team Magma was Groudon. Full art. Magma Gang versus Aqua Gang. This is such a nice card. Holy cow. And I also forgot to mention we've got. 
big old Daddy Snorlax here for extra luck today. We're hoping, I don't think we can, that was one of our best cards, I feel like. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna pull many tens. These are from like our childhood, even an EX series card in here. So some of these cards are from long time ago. Here we go. Looks Another one. Bad. Yeah, it looks gonna, it's hard for me to tell centering this much. It looks like this side might be a lot thicker though than this side centering wise. Okay, put the thumb over this part. Ooh, this is a Japanese Mega Charizard EX. Here we go. Uh, I'm looking at, centering's hard to tell on this card as Very well. Hard. What do you think? We were both wrong last time. I was 0.5 off though. You were... You were I don't see up. any whitening really. Yeah. I'm going to go nine and a half again. Nine and a half, similar to the last one? Yep. Um, I'm going to do one step down and go nine. I'm sticking with my nine. Here we go. Survey says, Let's dang go. it, I should have went. I didn't want to pick the same as you though. That's no fun. Another pristine no, card. Tight, tight. Are we going by if you get it exact or just whoever gets closest? Um, I think we should go exact. Okay, then you're winning one yeah. to zero. I guess we'll just keep like the MVP grades over here because we're not gonna be able to stack them all up. Yeah, we'll keep and, we'll, and we'll put some on the side as well. Next card, now we're at, the rest are English. Um, so right here, there's a ding. Um, on the corner here, right off the bat. So it's at least, oh, there's a oh, bunch of dings. Right there's so many dings on here. Like this is just off the dings. And what's this right here too? I think right there we have some issues as well. So this is a card that we probably had in our collection for a while. There's a ding there. I'm gonna say if the centering is pretty bad on this, then, oh yeah. So this is my EX series Salamence. And this is a very old card. I pulled this out of an actual pack uh, back when we were kids. I'm not even sure how, how old I was, but what do you think? There's the centering looks actually very good. Um, there's say, a bunch of dings on the back though. I'm going to say eight just eight. because of the dings. That's the only thing, only thing I see wrong here. Okay. I'm going to go eight and a half. I'm going to be optimistic on this one. I want to be, if it's a seven or lower, I understand there are a lot of dings on the back. Three, two, one. Oh, they gave me a nine. I mean, the centering is almost perfect. I think the card is perfect, except for yeah, the back. The back the has all of the whitening dings. But other than that, this is a beautiful card. That blue is so clean. Is there, a, and uh, there's not a swirl, I don't think, in here, is there? That'd be even cooler, but we got a lot of cool stuff. Oh, right there, under the wing, there's a swirl. Dang. Beautiful card. We're doing a lot better than I thought we were going to be doing on here. Very well. Um... Will we pull a 10, though? I, I don't think so. I think we'll pull a 4, though, or less. We put in one of our very beat-up cards just to see uh, what would happen. So there's a white, ooh, a lot of whitening on the corners. There's a pretty massive size ding there. But we, we noticed that a couple of dings is only going to bring it down about one point. Uh, centering, though, also looks a little chunky to the bottom. Okay. Oh, so this is my secret rare dive ball. This is pack fresh, so those dings came with it. You can see over here, the centering is very bad. Um, much thicker on the right side than it is on the left. Okay, Joe, what do you think? I'm gonna go with an eight and a half on this one. Eight and a half. I think I'm gonna go eight. I really think, I really think this is not in that great of condition. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh my gosh, you are so good at this. Eight and a half, near mint to mint. Uh, and I'll take that all day, every day. That is a beautiful slab, a beautiful card. I'm really big into the water types, but this is one that we're gonna put off to the side. It's not an MVP caliber card. Moving on, we've got 20 of these to go through. Uh, it's gonna be pretty cool, I'm, I'm excited. So some of this stuff I think is just part of the packaging or the- I think this one has really bad centering. It's up to the oh, like, yeah, it left is. top corner. Yeah, for sure, centering is bad. So it's at least a nine, I would say, right off the bat from that. I don't see the kind of whitening Unless whatever this is, I don't know if that, is that on the card? That might be. Yeah, it is, I think. That three line jabber is gonna really hurt us on a grade. Ooh, and it is my full art Mega Blastoise. That blue slab, uh, centering isn't great. I sent it in because I love Blastoise. Okay. It's just a cool card. Yeah, it you. is. I think I maybe should have went pink on the slab though. They didn't have the slab creator quite yet, I don't think, when we, we purchased, no. so we weren't able to, to look, but what do you think? I'm gonna go with an eight on this one. I'm gonna go eight and a half. Here we go, three, two, one. Wow. Nine, that scored way higher than I thought it would. Maybe those white marks on the back aren't actually there. Maybe that's 
something to do. Ah, they look like they're there though. Dang, a nine representing that Blastoise. Boom, there it is. Until we get another Blastoise. That is just by far one of my favorite cards and to get it in a nine in a mint, oh my gosh, that is insane. Okay, we haven't hit any of your cards yet, albeit there he only put in four in this submission. Ooh, so some serious dings right away on the corners. On the bottom, uh, other than that, not too bad. Oh, this is yours. Yes. This is your Lugia. Looks really nice. Very they, cool card. They also didn't have the white. I almost called in to get you the white label at this time, but I figured I think our cards are pretty much graded already. Yep. Centering looks looks Decent. good. Top and bottom looks a little different. I'm gonna go nine. I think nine's right. Yeah. Uh, but I don't want to pick you this. You can go nine. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's nine. It's it's gonna be a nine. Three, two, one. Eight. Ooh. What did we see? I'm I'm thinking it's all of this. Nine. Oh. Never mind, didn't notice any of that. Yeah. All of that on the side there is just ding, 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 ding. Dang. But an eight is still near mint to mint. Still a very nice card. Next card here. We've got a ding on the right side. Now I'm going to check the edges too. That was what got that Lugia down so far. Centering's off a little bit, top and bottom. Yeah. Left and right. Not too bad though, honestly. Could be worse. Oh yeah, the pink label with the Mega Blastoise. So I went, that's why I went blue with this one over here because I knew that I had pink coming on the uh, non-full art. Another beautiful card. Oh man, dude, I love my Blastoise collection. This is gonna be so awesome. Okay, centering looks decent on the front though. It's hard to tell with the bubbles. It's very hard to tell. All the EX and V Max cards are just really hard to tell. Okay, what do you think? I'm thinking nine, because I don't see much wrong with it. Okay, I'm going with you because you've been right the last, well, the only, I think it's still one to zero. So here we go. I'm gonna try it. It's still gonna be one to one, but I'm not gonna let you get past me. Three, two, one, and it's a nine. So we both score, so it's two to one now. Maybe I just gotta keep like that with you and then the very last card pick different and I'll win <laughs> or tie. But that is a beautiful card as well. Moving on to the next card. Centering's off. Centering, centering is off big time. We've got a scuff here. We've got a scratch there. Uh, whatever this is, is on the packaging. Okay. Ooh, that is a beautiful card. I went with the purple label because I didn't have purple labels on anything else. And there is some purple in there. And I really just got this graded because at the time, this was my only rainbow rare. Uh, since I've pulled three more, but this is my only rainbow rare as of right now. Uh, this is from the Sun and Moon era. GX Lorantis. Honestly, outside of that scuff, this looks like a pretty decent card. What do you think? I'm thinking eight and a half or a nine. I'm, I don't know. I'm... Might as well go nine. We're going, going nine. nine. I'm going nine and a half on this one. All right. I really think the ding is only going to count me off half a point. Here we go. Three... Two, one. Oh, wow. Uh, we missed some stuff. That's all right. The centering. I think the centering. Oh, yeah. It's probably card. right here. The centering. Next card. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're not quite halfway done yet. Uh, you can see here we've got... Is there a scuff there? The edge right here is eaten up a little bit. Um, the top looks a little eaten up. Centering looks pretty good overall. Yeah, centering looks decent. So a couple of scuffs usually is... Ooh. Ancient orange. Label. I know, the, the black label isn't so nice. That's extremely clean. So we've got Primal Groudon EX Full Art. It's a shiny form of Groudon, the all black with the black label. And that's my dog shaking in the background. Okay. So did you say there was whitening? There was a couple of dings on the back. I'm going nine and a half. Possibly, maybe it's a 10. Really? You think this maybe. one might be the 10? Maybe. I think uh, I'm going to go nine. I go nine. Three, two, one. Oh. Eight and a half. I know. These these cards that we've had for a little bit longer, this scuffing back here, you know, and up here, some of these cards that we've had for a while, they, they got a little damaged. But overall, an eight and a half, mint to near mint, beautiful. I'm waiting until we hit that Infernape that we have. This one's centering is terrible. Way off. So bad, both ways. It's up and up and over here. Um, so like right away, this is an instant nine, even if there wasn't any any whitening or anything, which I don't, ooh, never mind. take that back. This one corner does have a little ding. Ooh, 
This is my Ice Rider Cali Rex. The pink was a perfect call on this. Looks very nice. Yeah, with like pink on the hair. bottom, pink on the top. So good. This is a, like as pristine as you can get. This is straight out the pack, straight to uh, TGA. There was nothing in between. It went from the pack to a top loader to TGA. So we'll have to see. Their quality has been going down a little bit, but oh, this car is so nice. Holy cow. I'm going to go with an eight and a half on this one. Eight and a half? Ooh, I kind of gave up away a G. We know it's in the gem. It might. So what does that mean? Could it be? Can I Don't cheat, cheat here? Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Just guess. Okay, fine. Since it's pack fresh and I the centering is the only bad thing. What did you say? Nine? Eight and a half. I'm going nine. Three, two, one. Nine and a half. Like the only bad thing with this card was the centering. And otherwise this would have been a 10. This is a very nice card. Pikachu, you are getting covered up. That Calyrex is gorgeous. Dude, I started out strong. I, I know. Well, terrible. this is way harder than I thought it was going to be. I watch other YouTubers do this, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's a solid nine. And then it comes back a nine, and I'm like, oh, okay. So we got a ding here for sure. Centering's not perfect. Centering is not perfect. Um, trying to look to see if I can. It's still two to one. He's up on me. Oh, my all-time favorite card. This, my brother gave to me uh, for my birthday, what was that, like seven years ago? Something ridiculous. This is from Plasma Blast. Got the gold label for the gold Blastoise. I'm happy I went with it. It looks really clean. I, I really hope this gets higher than an eight. We never, whoever we got this from, because we bought it secondhand for like $30 back in seven years ago. Whoever we bought it from is basically who held this card. They sent it in a top loader in a one of these like plastic sleeve things that go over the top loaders and we never took it out of there. And so centering, you can tell it's just awful. Look at this yeah, the only big chunk see... in the top. I really think the centering is the one thing that's going to nail us here. Yep. That's the only thing I see wrong with is centering. So I'm going to go with a nine. I'm going eight and a half. Here we go. Three, two, one, eight. I mean, it is a really old card. This centering is pretty pitiful, but to have a shiny Blastoise, to have this card at all, I'm happy about. And I said I wanted an eight. An eight or, eight or higher, and I would be stoked. So Shiny Blastoise, uh, he makes it just because he's a sweet card. Can't wait till we get that Infernape and we get that two or three. I, I, it's it's going to be pretty funny. Well, I think we'll know what one it is. I feel like we'll know. Next card, I'm looking around, not seeing too much as far as... This one actually looks pretty good. Centering a little, I think, off, but not really. What... Looks good to me. I think there is. Is there whiting there? Or is that just the. Yeah, I think there might be a ding right there. It is right there. One ding for sure. Ooh, my counter energy. Really just sent this in because it's a gold card, if I'm being honest. Um, counter energy, secret rare from Crimson Invasion. The centering top and bottom looks off just a little bit. Which oh, yeah, it does. Down like half a grade max. Yeah, maybe a whole grade. I'm going nine and a half here. Nine and a half? I'm going nine. Three, two, one. Yes, and there's a tie game. Let's go. Oh, I was getting a little worried there. That's nice. Counter energy, mint nine. The gold label with the gold card. I'm thinking I, I wanted to go with one of the colors that you see in the card, but I couldn't pick, so I just went gold. We've got eight more to go. And we have a really beat up Infernape coming through here that I'm excited to see what it gets. So instantly top to bottom is off. I think that's not part of the card. Otherwise, this Gosh, corner is yeah. a little weird. Um, and this corner as well. The corners aren't very round. I think we could get dinged. Ooh, this is your card. Okay, this is Joe's Secret Rare Mega Charizard EX. We were, this was back in 2014. We were psyched when you pulled this card. This is his pride and his joy. So I think eight or higher is what we're praying for, right? Yeah. I'm going to play it low. I don't want to get my hopes up. I'm going to go with an eight. Eight straight off. I'll go eight and a half. I, it's, problem is, is we pulled it and then we like moved it around and it was always in a top loader, but it didn't, it did see some, some work. So I, I think we're going to go, you said eight, yep. eight and a half, three, two, one, eight and a half to take the lead. Now I'm getting the hang of this. Eight and a half is good. This is a beautiful card. To go along with the regular Japanese one. Uh, Japanese cards are just made better, I think, is what we're kind of seeing here. Um, we'll put this on the 
layout because that is his all-time favorite card. Blastoise Lover, my favorite card. Charizard Lover, his favorite card. Moving on. The Infernape is... Oh, there, this has to be the Infernape, right? Probably. Look at the whiting on the side. We've got a ding right there. Got a ding right there. I don't think we sent in two bad cards, do we? We might have. Ding. Really bad ding. This thing actually saw play. We played with it. Yeah. We got this when we were very young. I'm pretty sure I stole it for like a month or two. Yeah, it, it's his favorite Pokemon outside of Charizard. Well, it might be better than Charizard even, but yeah. they don't make any good Infernape cards, really. This promo is one of the only ones, and you could pull the Level X as well in uh, a pack. But let's see. It's really... Ooh, I almost missed it there. It's really beat up. The red looks nice. Infernape, Level X. The front centering... Looks decent, but like I said, there are a lot of dings. As far as, the one thing we didn't look for that I'm thinking about, Joe, is the scratches or anything on the hollow that could cause it to go down a grade. I really hope this gets higher than, like a three or higher, I feel like, I don't know. Uh, I think it could land in that six range, but it, those dings and the scratches, I don't know. This was a played card, it was used. What do you think? I'm gonna give it a five. Really, a five. Okay. I, some of me think six, but I just can't imagine this card gets any higher than a four. So that's what I'm going with. Three, two, one. Whoa! What? Let's go. We were, we were good to our cards as kids, I guess. I mean, there is some serious dingage in there. Like, you can see this ding from a mile away and this one too. But to get a seven and a half, I think that's a generous grade. I appreciate TGA for that one. We thought for sure this would get a way lower grade. But hey. This is awesome, a seven and a half. I will take, I love this card. This card is one of our favorites as a kid. In fact, sorry Snorlax, but you're getting a buddy over there. Some of these old school cards, we got a level X, a EX series. We are getting down to it now. There's that Infernape. I figured we would know when we saw it. It was pretty beat up. Okay, uh, top to bottom, doesn't the top look a little thicker? Definitely. Yeah. Um, as far as dings go and corners, maybe something up here. I don't really think it matters. We don't know that much about, Ooh, This is my secret rare from the same year. We, we bought a lot of Pokemon cards in 2014 and this is my Mega Lucario secret rare. You can tell secret rares, by the way, I didn't point this out in the last one. The all gold lettering and then there's some extra gold up here. Uh, and then to really confirm, 113 out of 111, check the, the numbers and you can, you can see that it's not part of the set officially. It is a secret rare. What do you think? Well, I don't see much wrong with it other than the centering. I'm gonna go with nine and a half. Nine and a half. I don't think this can get a nine and a half. I'm gonna go nine. And I think it might be an eight five, but I'm gonna stay positive. Three, two, one, nine. I'm doing so well. I'm going to take your Charizard. I should just take no, my Charizard and run. <laughs> yeah, you probably should. Nah, I won't be mean and take your Charizard up. But a game is a game. It is a nine, which could technically beat out my Blastoise and his Charizard, but it's the memories behind it. What I love about TGA is that before I was looking to get cards graded, and one, it's so expensive. Uh, an average collector like we, we are, we can't afford to, to send it in, especially if one of our good cards gets upcharged. There's no way. On top of the fact that the, the labels... Ooh, that is a beautiful card. The labels just look so nice. Like we want to display our cards. We want to show them off. We want to put them in our displays. And the other people in the game, I'm not going to give them credit and shout out their name, but the other people in the game, their cards, their slabs, their uh, labels just look eh. It was really wordy. It doesn't look clean. It doesn't look nice. And so once we saw these, we knew. Yeah, they don't add to the aesthetic, aesthetic at all. At none, not at all. And so that's why this is just such a good company. Uh, I just recommend anyone who's looking to get cards graded to go to TGA. They are top notch in the game. They are fair. They're for the collector. And that's what I love. Okay, this is your full I'm art Charizard. I'm going with the nine and a half again. It's nine. Okay, I'm going nine. I think I'm going to land on this nine too. I'm really confident about this nine. Three, two, one. There it is. I, I figured it out. I gotta quit being risky. Here we go, next one. So long story short, shout out to TGA. This is awesome. We appreciate you guys so much because there would be no other way we could get these slabbed. So whatever this is, I think it might be between the plastic. I can feel it, it's out a little bit. And there's a huge gouge right there. Corners are a little, our corners are really weak. 
Oh, here's this Mega Scizor that our grader uh, really liked. She said it's her all-time favorite card. Going with the green was perfect. It's very cool. Yes, this is a very cool card. It just is really dinged up. I can see, oh, maybe that was just a reflection, but um, the ding, the dings on the back are going to hurt it a little bit. I'm going to go with the uh, eight and a half. I was going to go eight and a half. I'm going to go nine again. Nine's been solid. We've gotten a lot of nines out of here. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my. <laughs> well, there's the win, I believe, on the Guess That Grade. I know why she likes this card. It is a very good card. To be honest, I forgot I sent this in. But uh, just for her, we will display this bad boy. Uh, we'll move our unknown cards over to its own stack. We'll put this down. Okay. Shout out to the TGA, the Graden Authority. There's her favorite card. Okay. Some of the stuff that you see on here is just um, leftover plastic. But we got a gouge, a couple notches there couple notches. So what it really appears like, if the centering is good and you've got a bunch of little cuts like that, it's a nine is basically what I figured out. And if the centering's bad, which a little bit on the bottom, it's thick, and there's the, the bad corners and the notches, then you're looking at like an eight, five. Okay. Oh, this is my full art Blastoise with the black label. Dang. Well, yours got a nine. I think we got this from the same type of promo, nine, but promos are tough. I gotta play it safe with a nine. You're going nine? Yep. Okay, I'm going eight five. <laughs> I gotta win by a lot. It's like, ooh, look at the rainbow showing through on the light on the bottom. Dang. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nailed it again. Eight five. Those dings are just bad. And you can't help it with these promos. They used to come in the plastic. Pokemon's learning. Uh, and they no longer come in that plastic that is it's secure to and you get those side dings and those corner dings from that that plastic and we've got more dings over here i think we probably should have looked at these through the video camera before before we started doing this but there's no way we get a 10 at this point i think those japanese cards were our best shot i'm seeing a lot of dings up along the edge here oh your charizard EX, Mega Charizard EX. This is the X form as well. Black Label was a good choice. I actually have two of these and I sent in the best one, hopefully hopefully getting a better grade. You you say the grade first this time. Okay. Maybe that's why okay. I'm maybe, gonna maybe, it. maybe. Um, I'm gonna go eight, five. I'm gonna go nine. Okay, three, two, one. There it is, yeah, there he finally see? scored. I think it's like six to three or seven to three. I can't remember. Yeah. Wow, that's a really nice card. That's really good. Joe, this one's killer. I like that one a lot. The last card. The last card. Um, do I remember what it is? A couple of dings. Ding. Yeah, I think you got one more. Ding. Blastoise. There's a lot of dings on here, so it wouldn't surprise me if I just sent a Blastoise in just to have add to the Blastoise collection. No, it's the Red Gyarados. Full art Red Gyarados from Celestial Storm. But what do you think? Centering you looks first. decent. Okay, nine. Eight and a half. Three, two, one. There, you scored at the end, but I am still the winner of this open. Or, uh, in the comments below, go ahead and put which one was your favorite or maybe one that you are excited to send to TGA or anywhere to get graded. These these are our, these were our babies. Right? They were our favorite cards. They weren't our best and cleanest and most pristine cards. And to get them all back, 7.5 being the lowest grade, uh, I think we did really well, and I'm super happy with what, what we got. So, until next time, see ya!